Welcome back to 100 Baby Challenge on The Sims 4. We are playing with the Greco family, and in the last episode, unfortunately, the sound cut out during recording, and I was unaware of it. So, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to edit a voiceover or not, but if I did, then never mind, and if I didn't, I apologize in this episode for it. So basically, we left off in the last episode with um, Estelle. Uh, she just got. Uh, she just became pregnant with Xavier Lima, and the twins are about to age up. So. Let's get started on that. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Ah, uh, okay, here we are. Welcome back. Oh, oh stinky, stinky. Okay. Oh, looks like the twins are good. What's up with Faye? Oh, she, okay. Uh, she's a hot mess. I'm just going to let her do whatever she wants to do. It's like Hayden is sleeping or taking a nap. <laughs> And Dean is like golden child right here. Where's his school? Where? Oh, he's a B student. That's good. All right, Dean. Homework, boo boo. Get to it. And Estelle's like, I could puke on everything. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh, feed. like Lottie's home. Let's see how- oh, Lottie. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. She's so tired. Oh my god, look at the kids! <laughs> oh wait, that's Estelle. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, everyone's exhausted. Go. She needs to go take a nap. Kai is nap time, my friend. I can't stand the sound of the crying babies. I just fed her. How is she hungry again? Good Lord, children. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a shower. Uh, and then she can go nap also. Bambosa, 
<laughs> I wonder if you can do extra credit. Yes! I'm doing that extra credit. All right, Faye. Can you practice? Go practice. You need to like, you need some skills. You need some skills. You need an A. You need GTFO my house. <laughs> no, don't go more and you're going to be even more uncomfortable. Okay, she's sore from work. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's interesting. Use the bathroom, do something fun, and just like straight up go back to sleep. I think that's a good option for you. Yeah. Is your face still horrible at this? <laughs> Try and get some good screenshots of my little Sims memories. Memories. Oh, she's like too tired to have any fun, but she's like desperate for it. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. No. No, no, no. This is your bed. I guess, yeah, he just straight up went to sleep. Okay, get up. Use the bathroom, take a shower, eat something, and then you need to do your homework, little kid, because you're a C student. That's not good. We'll go pay, sweetheart. <sighs> uh, Estelle is dragon ass. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm so tired. Dag, dag. Dag, dag. Oh, 
Oh my god, screaming babies! She's eating hamburger cake for dinner, folks. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. You just need what you need. When is she... When is she gonna... Second trimester. Two hours. Okay. Oh my god. Good job, Hayden. You finished your homework. And he's not able to do extra credit yet. So we're just kind of waiting for him to get like a A or a B or whatever. I think they don't start extra credit until they get bees. Ugh, these kids are really annoying me. <laughs> Is she about- oh, and she passed- she's passing out. Oh, she's like... She's... <laughs> she is down. Honey is down for the count. Oh, it's not good. Second time. Oh, I gotta get a picture. Uh. Oh, so bad. <sighs> I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to sit in your filthy diaper until I wake up from exhaustion because you're wearing me out. Wearing me out. <sighs> I don't know if she's ever going to be able to actually sleep. <laughs> I'll just have her take a nap or something and hopefully What's Hayden doing? Oh, okay. 
We need to get rid of that because it keeps catching on fire. Uh, and it's a safety hazard, and I'm trying to, like, have hundreds of babies. <laughs> Not cool. What else? Do I already have an art thing? Does it have to be outside or something? I don't know. And this is about where the audio cut out yet again, and I'm so sorry guys. I don't know what's happening with that. Uh, but this should be the last episode that it happens in, so I'm just re-recording this part, the voice, um, and I will try to figure out what in the world I was thinking when I was playing, uh, but I'm not making any promises. So, uh, it looks like Caden, I'm gonna get him to go to sleep or something, and we're gonna check on the rest of the fam. Poor Lottie, she has been suffering this entire episode. She's not doing so great. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try and fix that. <sighs> and these babies. These babies ha have just been awful. They've been crying the whole episode. And I know that's what babies do. But, like, nothing is making them happy. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. The other kids are sleeping. Dean is still sleeping. Just making sure Caden's really going to bed. It is Wednesday. It's like 3 in the morning. He's... I hope he's not too tired when he wakes up. And I know, uh, right now I'm trying to, like, level all the kids up. So... they can get some A's in school and move out of my house really want them to move out so that we can have more babies. See, they're crying again. Babies crying again. Never over. It's never over. What is Lottie? Oh my gosh, that's right. I made her dance. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Look at those moves. Oh, look at those moves. Yeah. <laughs> now she's like, uh-huh, yeah. This class has really paid off. Ah, oh, she's got... No, what are you doing? Don't go mourn. Don't go mourn. You're already, like, in a horrible mood. Why are you gonna go cry? Don't go cry. Watch some TV. And we have Estelle actually acting like a mother. Uh, it looks like she's starving. And she's always... Dude, she is always smashing the kids' playhouse. She, she just, like, really hates all child things. I don't know. It's pretty terrible. I've had to lock her out of the playroom uh, because she's always smashing it. <laughs> Estelle's like, all, be quiet already. Just quiet. Wow. 
swapping off. Cloney. Oh, swapping off. I think sometimes when they turn blue, it's not that they're always hungry. I think. Um, I think like that also shows when they need like affection and attention. But I know I'm always like, oh, why are they hungry again? <laughs> but I don't think it's always that they're hungry. I really, um, I'm really glad they don't have toddlers in The Sims 4. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, we love toddlers. But I don't know, dude. The, the babies are so much work. And by the time you're done with that, like, you're ready. Or at least I'm ready to play with them as actual, like, people, you know, not just something you can interact with, it's like, a person, you can make them do things. So, I don't know, I hope, I hope they don't bring those back. I, I don't want toddlers. I really enjoy the young adult stage. I think it's more, it makes, like, that end of life more realistic. Um, you don't just, like, age up straight into an adult. And I like to use that young adult stage to, like, build romantic relationships or have them, like, get really high up in their careers. Uh, it's just an awesome... So much better. So much better than Sims 2. <laughs> But I do love The Sims 3. I haven't played it, though. Once I get spoiled on, like, the new graphics, it's hard for me to go back and play the old, the older versions. Oh, look, we aged up! We aged up! Ah, uh, yeah, Penny and Rue are now children. And let's see, I picked, um, WizKid for Penny. And I think I made her good. Let's see. Uh, what did I pick? Is she? I think I make her good. I kind of wanted to make her a genius also, but I don't know. I was a little hesitant there. Oh no, look, I did make her genius. Okay. I think I made Rue good-natured, but I, I thought I made one of them. I'm probably spoiling this. She's like, where's my kid? <laughs> oh, look how cool she looks. Yeah, Rue is... Rue's the cool kid. Social butterfly, nice. And what else? I think I picked good. Please tell me I'm remembering these things correctly. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that short hair on Penny... No. That's, oh, look how angry she is. She's so angry. She is so mad that she has brothers and sisters. Whoa. She is furious. That's not cool. That is not cool, Penny. Oh, man. Oh, they can't use that mirror. And I always forget I lock the kids out of that bathroom. That's like... Um, Estelle and Lottie, that's their personal bathroom, and I make the kids, like, fight over the other two bathrooms. Actually, there's three now, because I added a half bath, but it has a shower, so I guess it's kind of like a full, whatever. Yeah, you're locked out, and I probably tried again, or maybe I actually realized. Okay, we're trying the room. And I just change her appearance. Because that hair. <sighs> nope, see, so try it again. I don't know why they can't use that mirror, the kids. I think the dresser is too tall for them or something. I don't know. Here we go. I finally get the hint. We're going to a different bathroom. <laughs>
All right. Creating. Well, it's not create a sim, but we're gonna change her hair. We're going to make her a little more girly. Not that short hair isn't girly, but personal preferences. I need it to be a little longer. That's just like too boyish for me. Too boyish. Whoa. Look at the Mickey Mouse ears! <laughs> and I think I considered a bun for a minute for her. Because uh, I thought that's cute. And that is custom hair. Like, I do have custom content in my game. Um, I don't have all the packs, so I don't have everything that The Sims 4 has to offer. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they have too many stuff packs, you know? And I feel like it should be condensed a little bit. Like, some of this stuff should have been in the original game. But I get it. I understand why they did it. Um, I just wish they wouldn't have. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna change her outfit up a little bit. I don't do this for all the children. Um, I usually just kind of let them wear whatever they want to wear unless I feel like it really doesn't fit the character. Um, and I, I don't know, twins? I feel like you have to make them so very different, you know? Because even though they look alike or similar and they were born at the same time, doesn't mean that they're even remotely like each other, personality-wise. Which I think is, I don't know, just like a general assumption people make. Thank you guys uh, so much for tuning in to another episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed the twins aging up, and I hope that you continue to follow us on the 100 Baby Challenge. <laughs>